everyone and welcome to the next video in the series. In this video, I will take up the topic of applications of pH and pOH formulas. And uh, I will cover uh, three problems uh, because uh, the kinds of formulas that we will be dealing with are such that uh, three representative problems will pretty much cover, cover all the possibilities. Uh, problem number one, a solution has a pH value of 5.6. Calculate the concentration of H plus ions in this solution. Uh, we start with the formula, the concentration of H plus is equal to 10 to the power of negative pH and we replace pH with 5.6. Now we have to work out the exponent, uh, 10 to the power of negative 5.6. And uh, for, uh, for the exponent problem, uh, you should look for a button on your calculator that's either x to the power of y, or sometimes y to the power of x, and sometimes it has the hat notation. You should also know that there is a toggle button that allows you to change the sign of a number that you enter. I have talked about these buttons in an earlier video, and so I won't spend time on them in this one. On my calculator, for the exponent, I will be using the x to the power of y button. And to change the sign of a number that I enter, I use the plus, minus, or positive negative toggle key. And so I enter 10 to the power of. Now, to enter a negative number on my calculator, I have to enter the size of it and then change the sign. On some calculators, you might have to hit the toggle key that changes the sign first and then enter the number. On such calculators, uh, usually there is a negative sign in, in place of the uh, positive slash negative button. Uh, you have a button that has uh, a negative sign inside brackets. Now we say equals and we get 2.5 times 10 to the power of, that's how you interpret E, times 10 to the power of negative 6. Okay, let's try that one more time. 10 to the power of 5.6 negative equals. Okay, so we end up with, uh, well, preferred in scientific notation, 2.51 times 10 to the power of negative 6 moles per liter. Problem two. Uh, now this goes the other way. Uh, a solution has an H plus ion concentration of 2.7 times 10 to the power of negative four moles per liter. Calculate the solution's pH. We start with the formula. The concentration of H plus is equal to 10 to the power of negative pH. And because we want to find pH, we solve the equation for pH. The exponent negative pH becomes equal to log to the base 10 of the concentration of H plus. And now we um, get rid of the negative sign and we get pH is equal to negative log of the concentration of H plus. We now replace the concentration of H plus with the given value 2.7 times 10 to the power of negative four. And working out the log part, we end up with negative 3.568 and this negative sign, which came from working out the log, combines with the negative sign here to give us pH is equal to 3.57. Now, as far as the log button goes, uh, you have the button on your calculator and uh, you should uh, practice on it. Uh, log 100 is equal to 2 because 10 to the power of 2 is 100. So try this on your calculator. Uh, on some models, you might have to enter log first and then 100. On some other uh, calculators, you might have to enter 100 and then hit log. Uh, make sure you know which sequence works for you by trying this problem. 
if you uh, punch in log 100, you should get 2. Okay, and uh, the last problem for this uh, video uh, is a solution has a pH value of 4.9. Calculate the solution's pOH. Now, this one is pretty easy because the formula is uh, probably the simplest formula uh, type that you can, you can you see. It's pH plus pOH is equal to 14. Solving this for pOH gives me 14 minus pH. We now replace pH with its given value, 4.9. And we end up with POH is equal to 9.1. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you again, as always, for watching. And I'll see you in the next video where I summarize the equations, the basic equations for working with acidic and basic solutions.